Yay Networks. Hello, good afternoon, evening, night, morning, breakfast. How are you today, honey? Happy, what is it now? Host Valentine's Day, y'all. Yes, honey, Valentine's Day is over with. And I just hope each and every one of you fell in love, got love, was love, received love, and did all the love and gave love to each and every person that was out there or was part of your life. Could let me tell you something? How I really feel about Valentine's Day. I mean, I think it's all right, honey, you know. Every day is a day you should love people anyway. But I guess that one particular day that they set aside that's called Valentine's Day, I guess we all should be in love. And I am not bitter because I did not receive any Valentine's Day gifts, cards, flowers, or anything like that. Because you know what? I love myself and I treat myself, honey. But, you know, if you got something for Valentine's, good for you. And I hope you enjoy. And I hope y'all still together today, honey, since it was just the other day. Because, you know, baby, usually after Valentine's Day, honey, um, the person who so say love you goes right back to themselves. Yeah. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So let me just be nice and just say happy post Valentine's Day. All right, honey. Okay, now, you know, this is something, y'all, baby. You know, we living in a world, baby, where they say it's always time to always repeat the block. That's the new thing people saying, repeat the block or, or um, whatever that mess is, however they say. But anyway, let me tell y'all. It is now official, y'all, that Portia Williams, but like she made it very clear, baby, when people say, well, Portia Williams is coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. She said, who who said that? She said, Portia Williams is definitely not coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta, but Portia Williams, Guapardia. Yep, that's her marriage name. She's using her marriage name. She's going to be back on Real Housewives of Atlanta season 16, and people are excited about it. They're saying, y'all, that Portia was the cat's meow, so now, honey, she'll be purring right back, honey. To Real Housewives. And, you know, I like that because I love Portia and stuff. But my thing is, though, I wonder, honey, what's that storyline going to be? And how's that going to be? Because, you know, people were saying that the reason why she left, even though, you know, she made it clear she left uh, when she did because, you know, she was getting married and she wanted to spend more time with her beautiful daughter. Well, now, honey, that all that said and did, people are like, is she going to talk about her husband? Because, you know, baby, they're going to try to eat her lunch, honey, you know, but she got a good um, contract because she's also going to have, a, um, she has a um, thing where she has in her contract that she's going to, that NBC, honey, um, is going to be giving her, um, NBC Plus, NBC, whoever they are, going to be giving her um, a, her own scripted show as well. So she'll be able to do a scripted show and all that good stuff. So that's part of her contract. So, baby, Miss Portia is winning, honey. So she's doing it, but people still say, well, who's going to be on the show? And nobody knows who's coming back, but I know at one point Kenya was promoting and saying that, you know, she was going to be back on the show now that Candy's gone. And some people saying, you know, that they could bring Phaedra back now that Candy's gone because, you know, Miss Phaedra, Candy was not having it, bitch. She was not having it, honey, with, um, um, poor, I mean, Phaedra being on that show because, you know, the, when, you know, allegedly, poor, I mean, Phaedra had said a lie about, um, um, Candy and her husband in the dungeon. So, baby, she, um, Said if Portia, I mean, if Phaedra was to come back on that show, bitch, she was not going to be back on. Well, now she's off. So they're saying Phaedra could come back. But Phaedra's on Married to Medicine. So what does that look like? So I go to show you, and that's what makes me wonder, honey, you know, are these, the scripting, honey, and the making of these shows, honey, what is, I mean, what is the real deal? Because uh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, congratulations to all of those girls. And hopefully, you know, we have a nice season of Real House Women of Atlanta. All right. Now, you know, we talked about this the other day, and I was talking about it, and I just, uh, you know, everybody do their thing. But we all know y'all that Beyonce, honey, you know, she released, and she put out two country singles because they're saying Miss Beyonce said, baby, she want to be country. Yes, ma'am. But, honey... She may want to be country, but everybody might want to be country with this girl, honey, because this said, y'all, that a country music station, or should I say stations, y'all, already, bitch, refused to play Beyonce's country songs, bitch. Yes, ma'am. They said, honey, um, that her new music is getting a cold shoulder, baby, from some country music stations. Now, according to, um, you know, um, a person on X, honey, they're saying Texas Hold'em is going to be played on, um, they, um, 
uh, one user y'all requested, let's say, like, did they requested this song, um, Beyonce's song, y'all, Texas Hold'em, honey, to be played y'all on this station called KYKC 100 FM, 100.1 FM in Oklahoma, where they're saying the station replied by email to decline. They say, um, we do not play Beyonce, honey. We are a country station, bitch. And they say, this helper is R&B or whatever she want to be, but bitch, she ain't country. And we ain't playing her. That's what they're saying, now, according to this report. But they're saying that um, after one request poured in, y'all, they say KFKC changed its time, and I mean, its tune, honey, and added Texas Holden, y'all, to their uh, rotation even logging onto its ex account with an update, child. So it's back and forth, honey. Are they going to play this girl? They're not going to play this girl. But, honey, I'll tell you this. To me, it's just like saying, oh, Beyonce, um, you know, is singing gospel now. So do they play on the gospel station or what? So I, 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 I don't know, girl, but it was just like they said, like Lil Nas X. Remember when he came out with his country song? Now, some people saying that he was um they um didn't want to play his music, but I guess somebody decided to play, but they was playing it on R&B stations and what have you. So I guess maybe let these people be, honey. I decided, honey, that I want to be um a hetero, I guess. So should I go ahead and give me a woman? I know that's a stretch. But anyway, child, congratulations to Beyonce, child. She going ahead, honey, and, and, and doing what she needs to do, baby, and, and get it right, honey, because we just love... Us on Beyonce, and they scared, though, too. Some people say they're a little bit afraid, y'all, honey. That, um, they don't want to try, just try to take over and dominate. All the girls out there in the country, Miss Tammy Wynette, honey, Miss Dolly Pardon, and um, who else? Um, uh, all these, Miss Reed uh, McIntyre, all these girls, honey. I know, I'm like, do they want Beyonce to come on in, in the um, league, child, and play that game, honey? Oh, what they want to do? Because, you know, girl, Miss Beyonce, honey, when she goes somewhere good, this girl takes over. So these girls like, bitch, we ain't trying to hear that. We ain't trying to have you up over here. But nevertheless, nevertheless, honey, we're going to see how that all turn out, y'all, honey. And I don't know if I talked about this or not, honey, but um, it is official yeah, that Usher is married, y'all. They said Usher did marry his um beautiful bride, honey, Miss Jenny Kuka Kuja, yeah. They got married. They tired tonight, honey. They say, um, um, people, um, we're very excited about it. They say it's a Valentine's, it was a Valentine's Day and a look of love, y'all, for those two, honey. Just looking at eyes, but I don't know, honey. I should get married. How many times he didn't been married? And he always look like he married people on the job. Because this girl here is a, 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 a record exec, if I'm not mistaken. He was married to um this other girl, honey, that was um a record exec. Um, what's her name? Um, I'm looking at her, honey. But, um, girl, I mean, you just marrying all these damn... um. These people from the job, honey. And I'm like, and, and everybody, um, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I should just, I don't know. But never the day got two kids together. Him and Miss Jenny, honey. Two beautiful little children, honey. They got them together. So, honey, Usher got, um, he got his hands, um, you know, tied, I guess, honey. So, uh, she's not a new Miss Raymond, honey. And we're going to see how long they, um, Stay together, honey. But he um he loves her. He married a child, and and they did that. You know he got those two um kids, and I love their names. His daughter' name is Sovereign Bo, and his son' name is Sire, honey. So congratulations, y'all, to Usher. That is definitely, honey, his true confession. Mm -hmm. That's his confession, baby. So kudos out to them, child. Because, honey, love is love, and just in time, honey, for Valentine's Day, you know, people love each other. And I wonder how, you know, how these other women feel. Because he also has two kids with his beautiful ex-wife, Miss um, Miss Tamika Foster Raymond. So there's some more Raymonds um, running around there, honey. And, you know, I don't know. Whatever it is, honey, us your guy, baby. These girls like it because, like I said, most of the women are usually older, but he's... A couple of years older than this one here, but usually he married older women, honey. So I don't know, honey. In search of Monique, honey, you know we love Monique. Monique, you know she been out there, child, honey. You know she been complaining and talking all the while about her. These people, uh, uh, Okra and um, Tyler Perry, honey, Miss um, Lee Daniels, all these girls, honey, wasn't treating her right and what have you. 
Well, honey, now I guess who's not treating her right, baby? Her son. Baby, her son, honey, speaking out, honey. He is really talking on, honey, um, his beautiful mother, you know. He said, um, you know, some things that people like, really? But I don't know. I don't know um, if he and Monique ever had a good, close relationship or what. Um, but his name is Shalon. And, you know, Shalon is, you know, you know, speaking out, he um he shares some things about um, you know, his mother that some people say they would have never done. But he did say, you know, he don't feel that there's love there. He doesn't feel that his mother loved him. You know, she has three more other sons beside him. And um uh, I guess, you know, he, and he's the oldest, if I'm not mistaken, and he just feels that, you know, she there's no love there. But I know his um, mama, I mean Monique was you know, she was younger when she gave birth to him and you know, she was out there working trying to make a living. I know, you know, she felt like she was giving him love by, you know, doing things for him, you know, presenting him with the um, worldly things and whatever. But I guess, obviously, he wanted the physical love. Like a lot of people say, it doesn't matter how much money you have. Kids want love. They don't want no damn um, cars or nothing like that. They ain't like me, wanting toys and stuff like that. They want love. Maybe I wanted the toys and stuff, honey, because my daddy was present in my life, and honey, the toys were scarce. So we didn't get that many toys, babe. We just, you know, just got just enough, you know, just to make it or whatever. But this guy here said, you know, um, he, he he wanted, you know, more of the love from his mother, that she just wasn't there or that she couldn't offer him. So, and they start talking out. Because, baby, back in the day, honey, you would not, not in my day, but you better not say, you wouldn't dare say nothing about your parents, honey. And especially not do it publicly. But nowadays, the kids are doing it publicly. They're like, the hell with this, honey. We going to talk. We going to say we want to do, honey. This is our right. So, baby, congratulations, honey, on your, um, on your right, honey. So, he got the right to do what he want to do. And he's definitely doing it. So, we're going to see if he get a whipping or not. Hmm. All right, child, honey. You know, somebody, um, Erica Badu um, spoke out, you know, and, and I was so pleased, honey. She spoke out the other day, honey, and people were attacking her for her opinion. Now, she said that, um, let me get this quote. She told, she, she just made a, a tweet out of exile saying that, you know, not that it was, um, you know, all of men were playing, all people, men were playing football or what have you. Um, it's time for the ladies to go out and go date them a soft man. And a lot of people got upset, honey, about that because she said that, you know. But most men weren't playing or watching the Super Bowl and stuff, carrying on. So, I mean, why not go out and get you a soft man? What's wrong with that, honey? I mean, I guess, you know, people got feeling because cause just because that man doesn't like football, you call him soft. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, Erica was just joking. And, you know, she told people, honey, to stay off her damn page, honey. She wanted smart people, people that could take a damn joke because um, people can't take a joke. I mean, this day and time, we can't take jokes because people get upset. People get tired of jokes, honey, and they get all on their they feelings, honey. So, Erica, I'm going to find me a soft man, and thank you for um, offering. Okay, uh, speaking of soft man, honey, I don't know if he was a soft man or what, but baby, I tell you what, honey, they ain't together no more, baby. Allegedly, it has to be reported out that Marcus Jordan and Miss Larsa Pippen are no longer together. Yes, ma'am, baby, honey. They say, baby, Marcus dumped her, but then some people say Larsa um, dumped him, child. But I don't know what was the tea, honey. What's the real tea on who dumped who? In the words of Aretha Franklin, baby, who's zooming who? But, baby, somebody got zoomed and dumped. But uh, my thing is this. I think Marcus probably broke up with him, baby, because honey, he wanted to still get his inheritance from his daddy, Mark, uh, Michael Jordan. Honey. And y'all know Michael Jordan did not like Larsa, honey. He didn't like her, uh, or he didn't want, let's say, or he didn't want Marcus to marry her, you know. So, honey, he did not. But Marcus did get a good run, honey. He had free sex for a good while, honey, with this girl, honey, because, I mean, she seemed to had love him. But Miss Larsa, honey, she's going to get somebody else. And I'm sure Marcus is going to find him another European woman, honey. I'm sure that's not going to be hard for him to do, honey. Him and his daddy, honey, might um, shop out of the same um, cesspool. Is that the right word? But anyway, uh, he... Um, he, he's a single man, allegedly, child. He out there, so... And I'm sure... Wait a minute. Let's think. 
They got some damn free Kardashians. Some of the Kardashians ain't, all the Kardashians ain't taken. He can go get one of them car Jenners. I'm sure, honey, one of them would be more than happy, honey, to welcome him in, child. Chloe's single again, if I'm not mistaken, honey. She, he needs to get with Chloe, honey, because you know how they all doing um, Hollywood, baby. They all switch up each other, honey. Switch them out. So, honey, I think he should be able to go get him one of them Kardashians, honey, and live happily ever after. I'm sure uh, Marcus, uh, Michael, his daddy, would not be upset about that, honey. He'll be more than pleased, honey, that Marcus, honey, and got him um, another um, woman of non-color to, to date. So, you know, kudos out to him, honey. Marcus, honey, if you're listening, I'm sure there's a Jordan. I mean, a Jordan. I'm sure there's a Kardashian out there, a Kard Jenner, I should say, that's waiting for a nice guy like yourself to just come on in, honey, and just keep them, honey, going. Like the Energize Bear, because Larson did say, honey, she had sex about, what, three or four times a day or whatever. So I'm sure there's somebody out there that could receive you. So kudos out to Marcus Jordan, honey. And his quest for love, honey. And speaking of quest for love, child, this is so crazy. But um, it's rumored that um, um, Shaquille O'Neal, a.k.a. Shaq, honey, was trying to make a pass, honey, on Miss Ice Spice. Y'all know Ice Spice, the little short, um, red-headed, little carrot-head colored um, rapper, whatever she is, child. Um, now, according to uh, reports, they're saying that, um, what's her name, child? Um, Miss Taylor Swift um, introduced him. And um um uh we do know Shaq like women, honey, that's tall, that's short, you know, honey, they could just climb up to him, honey. But um Miss Ice Spice, I don't know if she bit honey or what, but um he he's definitely, you know, he I mean they would definitely make a great couple because she's single, um, he's single, and they both single, honey. So I mean, hey, go for it. But one thing I don't understand though, um, about some of these women, no child. How you got a man, this man here, honey. Oh my ear. That honey that's trying to howl at you. Baby, he got unlimited coins. I'm sorry, bitch. If it was me, honey, I'm mm, girl. I'm gonna show a bite, cause if you don't bite them Kardashians again, him. So honey, I would honey, I would just take my chance and you know, see what um what 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 the um the end result may be. Because we love Shaquille and baby. This guy got lots of Restaurants and um, companies, businesses. He got a lot of them, honey. Matter of fact, he owns a um, Southern Mayo, not Southern Mayo, what's the name? Um, Crispy or Cream Donut right by my um, house. So, you know, he got it going on, baby. And, you know, he owns all kind of other business um, stores and stuff like that and restaurants. So, baby, trust me, he would, um, I would definitely consider, because just think, honey, how you could just let your money rest in the bank and, uh, um, Shaquille, honey, just give you unlimited coins to spend, honey, to shop. Because you know he's a big kid, honey. He's a big kid, and I would definitely, you know, be his child. Because, hey, it's just, I know people talk about, it ain't all about money if I don't like it. But let me tell you something, David. I, honey, so you give with a bastard, they ain't got no goddamn money you like him, so, honey. It's just easier to um, like and love a rich whore than, it's a, poor, than a poor one, honey, because a whore is a whore. So I might as well get this one, honey, at least, honey. And when I get pissed off with my go shopping or doing stuff, that broken, you got to sit your ass in the house and wait till the bastard leave or come back home to give you more grief. That's just me, honey. And, you know, don't pay me no mind because who, what am I? Nobody. I ain't nobody, baby. Nobody, honey. All in the words of Stacey Lattisaw, honey, let me be your angel. Because, um... That's all I could be for you. It's your angel. So, you know. And, I, you know, I, I, when we talk about angels, too, you know, there's an angel out there of Michael Jackson. I don't know if y'all heard the wonderful news, but they're saying that it looked like his nephew, Jafar, honey, is going to play him. Yes, baby, they're saying Jafar Jackson may be playing Michael Jackson. They're saying that the estate, honey, of Michael Jackson released a photo, Bubby, of Jafar, who will be playing Michael in the upcoming biopic, Michael. They're saying, with honey, only the following statement, the journey has begun. Now, they're saying that the official biopic is due for April 2025 and has sparked interest in the fan community. Some are having an A-lister actor playing um, John um, Branker. And some of the excitement are hoping a biopic, uh, some, and some y'all 
for the excitement of having a biopic about y'all, the king of Michael Jackson, y'all. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see that well. So, But this is amazing. Congratulations, y'all, because you know when they had Alexander, um, um, no, um, what's his name? Not his last name is that. Is, um, um, damn, what's his name? Um, Flex Alexander. You remember they had Flex Alexander, honey, playing Michael Jackson? I don't know who in the hell he was, child, but they had him looking a mess and all that white um, makeup and that big, ugly wig. Well, baby, you could tell times have changed, honey. Times have definitely changed because Jafar, baby, got the best makeup and the best wig. He looked just like his Uncle Michael, honey. So it would definitely be more believable, honey, than Flex Alexander, honey, bless his soul, honey, because he just, he just didn't, he didn't give Michael. I mean, you know, I mean, at the time, it was Michael. He didn't, just didn't give it. But, honey, right now, this new honey, this new Jafar, honey, is definitely giving us Michael. So I can't wait, honey, for this to come out, honey, because it's definitely going to be, I'm sure, going to be great, honey. And hopefully, they tell us all and everything what we need to know, y'all, about the king of power. All right, honey, I want y'all to have a great day and a better tomorrow, honey, because you know, honey, every day is a beautiful day. And like I said, every day should be a day of love and to love. So, yes, um, Valentine's Day was the other day, but right now, honey, we're back to ourselves and we're back to our everyday source and everyday, um, just everyday um, love. Just love for everything. Just love for everything. Just love, honey. Just love yourself, honey. If nobody else don't love you and you don't love yourself, baby, who in the hell do you expect to love you, honey? That sounds familiar. But anyway, have a great day and a great weekend, honey. And um, Feliz Navidad. Halalaja, pitilantua, halalqua.